Jonah spoke from verse 1 to verse 9. Then verse 10, God spoke. How did Jonah end up in Nineveh? He was thrown into the sea, a fish swallowed him. Do you know what it means to live in the belly of a whale? You know, some of you just read, you don't go and watch uh, animal, this thing, wildlife or not. If they show you a shark with their mouth, then they whale. The digestive component of the stomach of a whale, you can't come out alive. Jonah spent three days and three nights there and he came out. You know why? The moment the fish swallowed Jonah in chapter 1, we're about to pray now. The moment the fish swallowed Jonah in chapter 1, that's how he ended. From chapter 2 verse 1, Jonah kept talking. Because if he had closed his mouth, he would have died and be forgotten in the belly of the fish. So he kept opening his mouth. He was talking, talking, talking. Oh, when he got to verse 9, what did he say in verse 9? Quickly put it for me. In verse 9, very powerful. But I will sacrifice to you. Person the inside fish, belly. In the talk of sacrifice. You know, come out first. You are in the belly of a fish. Come out first before you talk about it. It's just like somebody in debt. And then they are raising money for a project in China. Person says, I will give 50,000. He's on a debt of 150. Come out first before you talk. But Jonah, wise man, because he knows that it is by your words death and life is in the power of the tongue he said i will sacrifice to you with the voice of thanksgiving how do you thank god in the belly of a fish what is pleasant about that place that your god could not save you and you entered the belly of a fish and yet you are called a prophet he said i will pay what i have vowed salvation is of the lord go to the next verse so the lord spoke to the fish because jonah spoke God spoke to the fish and he vomited Jonah. That's how you deliver yourself from death. They give you a report and say you have six months to live. If you keep declaring another report, you will come out of that hospital. A pastor traveled one time. You know, he went for a night, a, a vigil. Powerful meeting. As he was coming back in the morning, he had an accident. Then he woke up in the hospital. One of his legs, heavily bandaged with plaster of Paris, hanging. You know what orthopedics now? You know how they will just hang your leg there. Orthopedics word, you, you will stay there for a long time. <laughs> he was there alone. The devil said, God has forgotten you. Start crying. He said, no. He used his hand, dragged a chair close to his bed. He said, God, sit down here. Let's talk. He said, it's crazy. He said, God, if I was coming from a club and this happened to me, I would say you are justified. If I was coming from a brothel or from the house of a prostitute or a strange woman and this happened to me, I say, yeah, just if I went to preach your word and proclaim salvation to people and you let this happen to me, God spoke immediately. God said, take the first step and I will complete the rest. Bringing his leg down was war. He felt the bones shaking inside him. As soon as that plastered leg touched the ground, he had a crackling sound. He hit the leg. No pain again. He stood up and walked out of the hospital. When he was walking, passing the reception, the nurse there fainted. He walked out. You allow anything to kill you is because you refuse to talk. Jonah spoke from verse 1 to verse 9. Then verse 10, God spoke. The reason why God has not spoken over somebody's family is because nobody in that family is speaking. And God brought you here to speak for them.